Hi there, uh, time for another run out with the Epson SF810. It's a bit wet today, so we'll be wrapping it warm. Um, I finally got the watch sorted so that it actually gives me my individual one kilometer lap times, uh, which it doesn't come set like that as default. So uh, a little bit more accurate now. Um, so cold and wet today, wrap up warm, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, hopefully about a two hour run um, out on the trails. It's going to be cold, it's going to be wet, just how we like it. See you later. That's the run done, approximately uh, 21 kilometers. Uh, it's warmed up quite a lot uh, since set out. Uh, so rather warm now, um, but very damp. Uh, good run, uh, the watch performed well. I was using the tap function to change between screens. That seems to work okay. Um, and so I'm gonna save the uh, file now and then get it transferred over to the computer. So uh, and then, uh, have a bit of a rest and some breakfast. So I've uh, finished my run and uh, I've just got to then uh, save the exercise, so... And now I can go and get it uploaded to the computer. Okay, so uploading the data from the watch to the computer. Very easy. Just make sure you put the uh, watch into the cradle the correct way up. Difficult to do with one hand, but so it clicks in nicely, bleeps, and you get dialog box. Click the upload, and it gets on and updates very quickly. Once it's updated, it opens up the website with the Run Sense View page. And all your data appears there. Simple. I had already set a target of 400 kilometers in the first 61 days of using this watch. So this is what gets displayed first on the website, showing me that I'm slightly ahead of my target. Then we have the calendar view showing all the runs and activities that I've done so far. Further down, the latest activity. And if you click on the link there, you get taken to the activity itself. This allows you to edit any details such as the title rather than just work out number seven. Um, I usually record a specific title for these. This time it was a rather long damp run in the woods. You can edit the type of activity so I'm going to click on trail run and also you can edit the kind of weather that you were uh, exercising in. Once you've done this, you can save the activity. And view all the details of it. It displays with several graphs, as we've discussed before, and the map view. I must admit, the total ascent and descent is still problematical and it never seems to be accurate. And the graphs could be a little clearer. But once you've got used to them, they seem quite useful. 
display data according to time, distance or lap. And a lot of the time the lap setting is more useful with the functions. Heart rate does seem to be really accurate on this device. I'm quite pleased with it and it's so much more comfortable than wearing a chest strap. As we've said, the map view, not so good. Could do with more options, with better um, options for display. That's it for this video. Hopefully next time we'll try out the uh, interval training function. Um, but the main thing is just getting out with the device more and more, looking at its accuracy, see if I can sort out the uh, uh, ascent and descent uh, issue. Um, and just get the feel for it. So far, it's looking really, really good.